yeah, hello. Um, my name is Ronaldo. Um, I uh, have just recently been provided uh, kind of a referral from one of my buddies, and um, he, you know, he's big into the stock market. I don't know anything about the stock market at all, and he told me about this um, this company called Helion. Helion. I think I'm saying that right, but he said that uh, he's been studying it for quite a long time. He's been watching some YouTube guy, um, independent Ryan fella. I don't know. Um, but, uh, he's been putting out a lot of videos on YouTube. So, um, I, I thought I would come on and I would share with you guys. I've done about 15 minutes or so of self study. Um, and I want to share with my audience here, um, and really try try to generate some uh, interest in this um, highly 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 on. So um, I'm going to take you in. I I found their website. I discovered their website. Um, it's a it's a website, mm -hmm. uh, and it's at highly 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 on. It's the name of the company. Dot com. And when I went over there, it was it was interesting, you know. Um, you know, I'm a real skeptic. Um, I I don't do anything in life that uh, requires any type of risk, and it makes me feel a lot better that my friend has told me that this this might be a good good time. I guess um, I've never bought a stock in my life. I don't know what what goes into stock investing. I I don't know my grandmother she started me a savings account when i was a young wee lad uh, a, a young ronaldo um ronaldo garrison um and um it's it's really nice to meet you guys um but i started the savings account and i've never done anything else like this so um this seems very very um risky to me um but he said that this that the stock price is at a trading at a dollar 83 right now so I thought, you know, what the heck, I've got a few minutes and I, I've just concluded that uh, the due diligence before I go out and I have to mow the grass and um, I have to paint a room in my house. But um, I did have uh, 15 minutes to devote to what he says could be a life changing uh, situation here with this with this he, he highly he, highly on. So with that, I'm going to kind of drop i'm going to throw you guys into this tutorial i was able to take you into the website and give you my first impression of you know what i saw here um i i guess the leader of this this rabble this uh this small company and from the best i can tell it's unknown um nobody nobody really knows about this company right now um and 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 if that does change my friend says that if that does change uh, that it could really, um, it, it could go up in stock price. And I guess that could could mean that I, I make uh, some money if I decide uh, to invest in this in this company here. Um, I, I don't know how to do that, but uh, I, he hopefully he can help me um, look at buying some shares. And I thought, man, alive, you know, $1.83, I, I can do that. I can buy two or three shares of the company, um, you know, and, and my friend says, you know, you, you need to le at least buy 100 shares. Not like a hundred shares. That's like a hundred and eighty-three dollars, and you know, I'm thinking in my mind all the all the cool stuff. I mean, that's a new that's a new um, electric uh, grass trimmer. You know, think about all the grass I can trim with that hundred and eighty-three dollars. And I, I I don't know, guys. I I'm real uh, skeptical on this. You know, but he said that that other guy on YouTube. He said that he was he was really really in bad shape. His family was suffering and. Uh, he he he's he's lost it, a, a pile of money um, on, on this on this Helion thing. He and in, he invested. And he believed way too strongly um, on this hyper truck Erks truck that they have. And and I thought, you know what? I'm going to come onto YouTube and I'm going to share a, a different perspective. Um, I'm going to try to help people. And and so I again, I've concluded my 15 minutes of of a deep dive. And and I'd like to kind of share with you guys what I found when I went on to the uh, highly I'm still learning the name guys so just bear with me here um, highly on and and we're gonna we're gonna kind of explore this together I want this to be a, a learning opportunity and trying to understand what this um, undiscovered company uh, is all about in helping me come to a decision on whether or not I should invest in the company now here 
Um, it's it's April 9th uh, at the time of this video. Yep, April 9th, 2023, April 9th, 2023. So not sure if it's a good time or not. Not sure if the company is really looking at um, doing anything transformational in the future. I have no idea. But hopefully if we can generate some conversation in the comments, you guys can help me understand um, what it is that uh, I, I can potentially do. Again, Ronaldo Garrison, and it's great to be with you guys. I, I, I thank you for coming in and watching a brand new channel like mine. Uh, again, I'm a pretty happy fella. Again, mowing the grass and and painting and doing very, very simple uh, things makes me make, makes me very happy. And, you know, I, I get nervous. I get I have a funny feeling when my friends come to me and they say, come on, Ronaldo, you got to get on the bandwagon. You're going to get left behind, you know, and, and I'm again, I'm a very skeptical person about anything. I, I don't I don't fly. Um, I, I've never taken a risk in my life. Um, I, I don't, I don't do anything risky. I've never, um, I've never done anything that uh, would jeopardize my, uh, my world of comfort. And, and so this is very, very scary to me. Um, but hopefully, we can get to a place where maybe I can maybe justify, I, I think I might start with about 10 shares of the company. I think I think 10 shares is probably what I want to start with here. But again, I have to finish my, they call it due, due, due diligence. And I think I'm probably getting close to that um, after the 15 minutes of review of this company. So um, let's kick over and we'll review the website together. So uh, I was uh, turned on to this Hylion thing. Um, and it's pronounced Hylion um when it was brought to my attention just here as of late and, and looking at the website it seems pretty flashy that's for sure um i i see some <clears throat> some familiar oems um, which is original equipment manufacturers it seems like and i look there's peterbilt there it shows up in this and it looks like these guys have actually got a real facility um there i understand i've been introduced to um, the founder and CEO who was just pictured there, his name is Tom Healy. Um, and evidently he's the um, mastermind behind this Hylion project. But um, wanted to introduce you guys to the website. It looks like it's clean. It looks like it's professional. Um, they've got some additional product uh, offerings here in, in their respective fields here. But as we scroll down and we do kind of just a first look here, it says harness the power. They've got this um, hyper truck irks it looks like this hyper this irks truck and then they've got the um, hybrid electric hybrid electric it sounds like something out of the matrix um, a sharp looking truck anyway um, I'm not really sure if the um, uh, you know if, if I see much difference in what traditional trucks have looked like that you're used to seeing um, went over the road, but let's just read this here. It says, Harness the Power Hylion produces electrified powertrain systems. Not sure what that means. That can augment or fully replace traditional diesel. It can fully replace diesel. Hmm. I'll believe that when I see it. But, you know, at $1.83 uh, per stock price, that's a pretty bold uh, statement um, to be making or natural gas fueled powertrains. Interesting. I didn't even know that semi trucks were powered by natural gas. That's interesting. We'll have to do a little bit of research to see if natural gas is even. I thought natural gas was powering my barbecue, and that's it. Um, and and my stove. I didn't know that it could actually roll up semi truck down the line. That kind of seems too good to be true. And I'll leave that up to you guys as to whether or not you think that is. Uh, its system are designed to improve performance. Improve performance. Well, I tell you, my barbecue does perform pretty well and lower total cost of ownership while leveraging the existing alternative fuel infrastructure. I'd have to see some statistics on that, but um, a fairly sharp truck here, the, the hyper truck irks and the, the hybrid, the hybrid electric truck. So that's interesting. We'll have to determine what the difference is between there, you know, and question whether or not it's even worth, you know, going to the irks as opposed to just our traditional uh, diesel truck but uh, sharp website anyway as we look at here it says they're eliminating barriers 
uh, for consumer brands to pursue sustainability initiatives and low carbon footprint. I have no idea what that means, but um, sounds like pretty pretty lofty goal. It, they say that they're affordable, lower fuel and operating cost, reduce total cost of ownership. We've talked about that. Scalability when you leverage existing fuel and fleet infrastructure. Yeah, I didn't. I don't know about that. I didn't know that there was so many fueling stations. I know if I want to fill up my propane tank for for gasoline, I can I can do that pretty easy at any of the Home Depots, but it's kind of hard to believe that these trucks can be powered by an existing fueling network out there and then impact to reduce emissions without sacrificing performance and reliability. Well, that's a bold statement. I'd have to do a little more research to identify what that is. And this guy, Tarek Sultan, CEO of of Agility, I'm not very, I don't have very much agility. I'm a pretty strong guy, but um not really sure. Um, that's a cool, cool name of a company. I've never really heard of them before. I wonder if they're uh, a personal fitness um, company. Anyway, Hylion's technology tackles one of the biggest pain points for the logistics and transportation industry. Okay, so maybe he's providing physical fitness to the trucking industry. How to lower emissions without having fully replace? Hmm, interesting. Okay, well, I don't know where they got this this guy, Tar. Tarek Sultan, he's the CEO of this company. I don't know. It must be a startup. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, that's a quick tutorial and rundown. I, I'm, I'm going to check this out even more, but it looks pretty interesting. And I mean, my, my God, I don't know what they're doing wrong here. It seems like they're doing an awful lot right with the share price now being at $1.83. I don't know. My buddy said it was a good idea, and I'm going to take a look at it, and I'm going to do a little bit more. Uh, review of this website, but it looks interesting what these guys are trying there. Well, there the, the truck actually works there, there. There it is again. It actually is rolling down the road. Well, that's interesting. And there's the um, Tom Tom Hooley uh, talking about the truck there. So there's two. Tr there it is again. It's actually working. So this truck might actually be working. So I we'll have to see where they are in their phase of of potentially. Um, bringing this to uh, a, a market that can actually enjoy this uh, this pro well there it is again there it is rolling down the road but they might be rolling it down the street um, like some of the other companies that I've seen do that's why I've kind of stayed away from this space it really makes me nervous when there's Freightliner that's the first I've noticed that that's kind of cool and there's some guys that seem interested in what they're doing so uh, interesting enough yeah I thought I would roll this out highly on.com check it out for yourself stocks trading at a dollar 83 right now so um, uh, something's something's not right here this these guys must be doing an awful lot wrong um, to have their stock price at a dollar eighty three, and perhaps maybe they're not quite as um, uh, forthcoming, or or they're not following through with some of those statements that they made. But uh, um, I'm going to do some more research, and I encourage you guys to do the same, and uh, and we'll see what we find here on this uh, new opportunity here with 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 Hylion um, and their uh, their hyper truck irks. So I found this animation on the. Hylion.com website. This is the Hypertruck Irks that uh, I found, I discovered, and and again, this is really kind of getting me a little bit excited because my friend told me that this was something that I needed to look into. Um, so, you know, um, we're gonna kind of try to go through this. I this is the first time I've ever looked at this, so you know what I see here from a from a new perspective here, it looks as if they've broken this down into four segments of the truck. Um, it looks like their number one is a tank behind the cab. I don't know if they're putting fuel or if they're putting some sort of um, uh, um, uh, electric cell or, or some sort of uh, gas there. I, I'm not sure what they're doing there, but it looks like whatever fuel source is being provided to power that small engine there. It looks like a small engine, and you know, Hylion is a from from what I've never heard of them before, and I'm quite certain that major industry has never heard of them either. So I I doubt that that is any type of manufacturer that we've ever heard of. So um, I'm sure that that's probably Acme generators under the hood there. So I need to do a little bit more research there and determine that you know you know who's making those engines for this. A tiny company. I mean, it's insignificant. I mean, it's it's almost it's almost to zero on the stock price. <clears throat> so uh, typically, large companies do not do business with small companies unless they're 
Um, they have something material to bring to the table, and 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 I, I I haven't done enough research to determine whether or not this hypertruck irks is actually a good idea or not. Um, but it looks like a really small engine. I'm not really sure what their idea there is, other than it looks like it's providing some power to those three green boxes below the cab. Um, those three green boxes are identified as a part of the component here. Um, it looks like they might be batteries if I'm figuring it out okay. And then the power from those batteries are going back to those axles back there. So I'm not really sure. It looks like they've taken the traditional mechanical um, ways of powering a traditional truck and they've they've replaced it with this arrangement here on this hypertruck irks so interesting um, you know I'm trying to determine whether or not I want to take a position in this company and I'm, I'm looking at this company for the first time here um, you know I, I I've been told that there's a channel on YouTube that that covers the story and has but uh, has lost a ton of money on the company so I, I i thought i would you know try to help um some some new people looking at this because i'm new and, and i don't know what i'm looking at here i mean i see a tank and i see what looks like a motor and i see what looks like maybe a battery and, and what looks like maybe maybe an axle here and these components are supposed to go together here to 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 make this um er or irks drive down the road here um so interesting conception here. Um, this is available on Hylion's website. And like I said, I've just started my um, my research on the company. I've spent about, oh, 12 minutes on it so far and and decided that uh, I knew enough about it to go ahead and come onto YouTube and, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe just throw it out there as an opportunity for people to look at themselves. So um, with that, you can check this out. If I've got some of the components wrong here on this Hypertruck Irks, uh, please let me know here and and if you can clarify that it's an acme generator um, and who's helping them build the the axles back there the axles in the back I, that would be helpful because you know again this is i'm not sure where these uh, parts are coming from because you know ag again hylion is a small uh, insignificant company and i highly doubt that they've got any type of collaboration with big industry uh, there, there's no way that they've uh, partnered with anybody in the in the industry that can help them with this hypertruck irks project yeah so i was poking around the website and i found this hidden it was i don't think it was meant for the public uh, this was on their website but it showed that on an initial ten thousand dollar investment here in this in this highly highly owned ten thousand dollars would now be worth Four dollars and sixty-three cents and twenty-nine cents. Ten thousand dollars. I've never. I don't even know what ten thousand dollars looks like. I. I. I can't even imagine having that money. I don't even know what I would do. I. I have no idea what I would do if I had ten thousand dollars. I. I just. I mean, if I was going to have some fun, I'd probably. I don't know. I would go maybe buy a house. Um. Maybe buy myself a new car. <laughs> you know. Uh, but but for the, these people here, this is actually on their website, and I don't know if they meant to to provide this as you know people needed to see this. But this is why I'm skeptical of investing. This is why, right here, and and this company is is helping you understand what could potentially go into um, this company if I invest in it. And I, this is one of the first things I came by. And um, this this really kind of throws up a red flag for me. Now, my buddy did say that right now with the stock at $1.83, um, it's a good time to buy, right? I don't see how this is a good time to buy at all. I don't see how this is sane, this is insane. Look at this. Are you seeing it the same as me? I know you'll agree with me. I mean, I'm not an investor, but I see this and this just looks crazy. I don't even know how people can even look at this and think that this is anything other than just an utter mess. And this is why I say it's better not to take risks in this life as opposed to subject your hard-earned dollars. Just think about all those people who could have bought that new house who could have bought that new car, who could have bought that new weed trimmer for the backyard. And look at them now. Look at them now. Hylion is putting that information right there in front of you so that you can determine that this is just, this is just not for you.
this is just not for you. I came across this little nugget here. It, it says existing infrastructure over the past five years. RNG. Well, that's the acronym for my name. Ronaldo Natan Garrison. That's fantastic. Uh, that might be, it, I think it's a sign. It might be a sign here, but it's used in transportation fuel and it's increased by 577%. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. I might have to kick over to that independent fella and find out what that actually means if we're moving in the right direction or if that increase means that they're doomed. Hmm. Yeah, I'm a little tricky on that one, man. You guys are going to have to leave some help for me in the comments and help me determine that, you know, at a dollar eighty-three, this is worth the risk. Again, I'm very, very risk averse, and you guys have to understand that, you know, when I look at stuff like this, an increase of five hundred and seventy-seven percent, that it just scares the hell out of me. It just scares the hell out of me. It it seriously wants me. I it it try it drives me to stop doing this and go and mow the grass. <laughs> seriously. Um, but uh, I don't know if this is a positive or negative. Um, I, I may sneak watch <laughs> the independent fella and see what he's working here. But, uh, you know, from my perspective, Ronaldo's perspective, I'm not sure if I'm really seeing this here. But uh, anyway, yeah, 577% increase. Not really sure what that means. We're going to have to look a little deeper into what uh, what this what this could mean for this this young company uh, and their ERCs. This says that this uh, ERCs product is safe and it's fast fueling. Uh, the natural gas producers and distributors employ over 4 million people. That's not very much. That's not very much at all. I mean, there's, five, there's probably 900 people in my small town. Four million people. That's that's not too too many people. I I'm not really sure. I understand what they're getting at here, but a massive leverage for accelerating again. RNG. <laughs> yeah, that's Ronaldo's Ronaldo's name right there, man. I I dig it uh, for deployment and support. So what they're suggesting here is that because people work in the industry, um, and the industry is growing, that potentially there could be opportunity for Hylion. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not really seeing that connection there. Again, I this this seems pretty risky to me. I you know I'm gonna have to talk to my buddy and, and really get him to explain this to me because I I I just don't understand. I don't understand, and I don't understand how this can be worth the risk. I mean, you saw all that red in that first chart that I gave you here, losing all that money. I can't understand how at a dollar eighty three this is even a good deal. Now this seems to suggest here that the product that the highly on people are building this this erx truck can actually help assist remove carbon dioxide from the environment that don't make no sense that don't make no sense i mean i don't like to drive for fear of getting into an accident but when i have to in other words i got to go to the store or, or i'll starve and die um I, I notice all these trucks on the road and there's a bunch of black stuff pouring out of the tailpipes. And, uh, you know, I just think that's just a way of doing business anyway. You know, I just shut my air conditioner off because when it blows in through my air conditioner, it, 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 it smells real, real bad. And I, I don't, I don't like, I can't breathe. Right. But these guys are actually saying that they're efficient and environmentally friendly. I, I don't, I don't, I don't like it. Anything environmentally friendly is not a moneymaker. Again, I think we've proven that uh, time and time again um, when we're, you know, trying to look at these 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 small companies here, these insignificant companies, and what they're trying to do is being somewhat noble um, in their cause. I, I say pollute away. Look, they, it doesn't affect me except for the air conditioner thing. But look, man, I can turn the air conditioner off. I can slow down and give those trucks their space, right? So I'm I'm doing my part here. Uh, but interesting enough here, what Hylion is actually boasting here um, in that their solution can actually remove pollution from the atmosphere. Are you kidding me? Now, this is interesting here. They're saying that the fueling stations are widely available across the United States and Canada. Well, that's interesting enough. So they can actually power the Cirque's truck to actually drive around and actually do these services. And this is interesting. I have a hard time disputing these because 
you know, it irritates me when I drive into the parking lots now and I see all these Tesla chargers, you know, that Tesla vehicle and the Tesla charging stations, they're all, all empty. They're all empty. Nobody's using them. And, and my hard earned taxpayer money is going to that. Now, mind you, I don't make more than 17,000 per year. Um, remember, I don't take a whole lot of risks. And I felt like, you know, for the risk necessary to take on to do my current job, and that's make smoothies at the mall. Um, as long as I can keep my arm out of the blender, I should be okay here. Uh, but this is this is kind of interesting here, kind of goes in. And I, I called my buddy right away when I saw this. And I said, okay, they, they can actually build this truck and they can actually run it. I mean, what what is what is the use of a truck that doesn't have any any fuel and don't make no sense to me i mean i'm I, i'm as dumb as a board but the, even even i can figure that out they got to have fuel available here um and highly honest stating that it's available in both us and canada now, now this this i don't understand at all what they're saying this hyper truck irks does they're saying this this irks it improves range and, and anxiety i don't know what the truckers are so stressed out about here um, and then I versus the beverage companies, I don't even know what the heck that even has anything to do with this, this whole deal. So I don't understand what Hylian is saying here in this slide altogether. They're saying that the Hypertruck Irks offers improved range. Okay, that must be the distance that they can travel versus the beverage companies, reducing range anxiety. I, I don't understand. I mean, these guys have got to turn, pull over and they've got to They've got to go to the bathroom at some point. So I'm not really sure what they're looking to prove here. I'll have to talk to my buddy here or or, or um kick over to that um the 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 eye guy, the 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 eye channel. Not really sure um what what if he's still doing it or not. But um uh, yeah, this is this is interesting. You can take this for what you guys want, uh, will, guys. So OEM class eight manufacturers, hyper truck, irks powertrain compatible with major class eight. Original equipment manufacturers. Hmm. That kind of goes against my original thought that there's no way that Hylian is, is, is partnered with anybody that we've ever heard of before. So we'll just shelf that one and move to the next. The battery configuration. And that much must have been what those green boxes below the cab were. The battery configuration. So you get to choose whatever battery installation. So they're showing a little bit of modularity there. And so that's cool. Predictive analytics. I have no idea what that means. And the class eight experience. Well, it seemed like the truck looked like any other truck. I'm not really sure if that's a net positive or negative. Um, we'll just have to continue to, to, to monitor this and, and see how, um, when this thing goes from the, uh, the funny diagram that we, uh, reviewed actually goes on the road that truckers actually like, uh, driving this truck. So if they don't like it, it ain't going nowhere. So this is supposed to be the Cirque's Council thing that I reviewed, and I came across this list, and, you know, Hylion is right smack in the middle. They're the company that we're studying, but this this Ruan, um, Pansky, Agility, there's that, that's that sports and fitness company again, Ang, Warner, NF, I, Anheuser, I, Anheuser Busch. I think that's a beer company, I believe, but I don't drink. Again, remember, I don't, I don't do anything that's risky in life. I want to make sure that I'm preserving um, this this Ronaldo character as long as I potentially can. Here in Green Path, that just sounds like a made up deal. And Schneider, I'm not sure what they bring to the table here, but like I said, I don't, I don't see anything special here. I don't see. Um, that these guys um, bring anything to the table. I, I'm not sure what they even do, except for the agility. I'm pretty certain that they do personal fitness, uh, but I'm not sure what these guys do. And and again, I, I I highly doubt that they've got any type of involvement with Hylion being an unknown, um, uh, unproven uh, company in this particular space. And this says that it's an intelligent powertrain. I, I, don't, I don't know what that means. Reduced cost of ownership. I don't know if that is a reason to invest in this company. Again, I don't know. I'm, I'm, you know, I initially I was thinking, you know, I'll just throw ten shares on it and see what happens. But I, I think I'm, I think I'm more uh, inclined to maybe do six or seven. 
I, I think I'm more inclined to do six or seven. I, I, again, I did, this is not something I typically do here and, and I don't infrastructure existing that I don't know what that means either. And driver familiarity, it just seems like maybe something that, you know, these truck drivers, if they've been driving for a long, long time, why, why wouldn't they just stay with the same truck? You know, if it's not hurting nobody, it's not hurting the environment. Remember I just shut my air conditioner off. So I, yeah, I'm not really sure what what this is all about here. They've got a vision to be net nar, negative negative carbon emit. I don't know what that means, and that they're ambitious. I have no doubt they're ambitious. They've been ambitious and driving their stock down to nothing, um, which is my why my buddy told me about it. But um, yeah, we'll see here. I'm not sure about this slide here, guys. I hear these guys go again with this net zero stuff. Not really sure. And then this representation of over a hundred thousand class eight trucks. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I've already determined that those other cats, I've never heard of them again, except for the um, the stretching company, the agility, the uh, the uh, mobility company. I haven't I, not really sure. I understand this slide at all here, but I sure do like the color of the trucks. This is on the hyper truck irks. Experience the future of trucking with the highly on hyper truck irks designed for both over the road long haul. No idea what that means. And inner city freight transport. Inner city freight transport. I don't know. I don't know. I'm from the country. This is all I know. I'm not sure if there are uh, a need for this in the cities. I never go to the city. I get shot. Mm -hmm. I never do that. By utilizing renewable natural gas. Again, there's my there's my name. Uh-huh. I love it. Electric jet. Oh, that's a generator. That's a generator. The Erx powertrain operates as a self-charging electric system without the limitations of alternative battery only solutions relying solely on grid power. I have no idea what I just read. But I have to talk to my buddy about it and see if this is something that I even need to put some money toward. I don't know. I'm I'm down to six, seven shares here, and I, j I just don't understand what all the hype is all about here. If I could just figure out what this net carbon negative emissions thing is, I might be able to embolden my thesis on this company. I, I just don't know. I just don't know. But I tell you what, I'm getting kind of tired of this due diligence that they that they talk about all the time. I. I don't know how anybody can get even caught up in this rackus. I tell you what, because I, I just, I really got an urge. I really got an urge to go out and mow the grass right now. I really do. And, I, and I'm just, I'm just really toying with this idea that I could go get this new electric trimmer, at, 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 which would supplement my grass. You know, I, I could even splurge a little bit and get, get a nice, get a nice edger. And, and I, I would have the most beautiful grass in the entire, entire countryside. You know, and, and so I, I read this stuff and net carbon, they, they're just talking over my head, you know, they're just talking over my head and I don't know what to do about this. I, I, I might just put a few dollars to, to, to work in this uh, on just the very simple thesis that my buddy said that it's a good thing to do. He's been covering the story. He says that this Ryan into I, I two, I two guy independent fella on, on the YouTube, he's been doing this for a long, long time. I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something here, but I tell you what, I just, this is not, this is not in line with my, my typical personality here to take a, an over exuberant risk on this company. And I tell you what, I'm sure glad I didn't buy those 10 shares. I tell you what, I, I'm, I'm glad that I have made a decision for myself to kind of knock that down a little bit to maybe six, seven shares here and, and just really just monitor this landscape and see how, how things go in this, in this, uh, a mission of net carbon negative emissions. <laughs> There's that net negative carbon emission. <laughs> oh, I, ooh, I like that. All electric flexibility. I don't, I don't know what that means. None of the idling and all the driver comforts. Well, that, that sounds like a good thing. Oh, we want our drivers to be comfortable. There's no doubt about that. So, I, I don't know. I, I might boost I might boost my conviction up to about seven shares here after my after this due diligence here. And you guys tell me, help me, you guys that have been investing for a long time here. I'm just looking at this old girl for the first time. Uh so if you can help me understand where 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 my loyalty should lie, that 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 really helped me. Cause I tell you what, I, I'd like to make a few dollars on this deal. Could you imagine making a few dollars but buy six, seven shares here? I I'd like to buy a new house someday. 
I think it'd be all right. Maybe buy by myself or build myself a new garage, a new barn. I think that'd be cool too. I, I think this is the way to do it. I, the Hylion, they talk like they're real smart. They talk like they're real smart. And I, I, I think I might want to take part of this deal. I, I really do. I, I think my buddy's right on. I think he's on to something here. Well, they say that they're efficiently electric, but I tell you what, I give you my summary now. I, I think these guys have got, um, got a lot to say and I think they got a lot to prove. That's what I think. All right. Um, now whether or not I think what I'm probably going to do here, and I've talked about this through the video, I think I'll probably take a, take a nice six, seven share position in the company. Uh, if it don't work out next month, I, I, I'll probably just, I'll probably just sell them shares. I, I probably will. Uh, but I tell you what, in a month's time, that's a long time. That's a lot of grocery spot, my friends. Um, that's a lot of grasses mown. All right. Um, but if this thing doesn't work out and, and and it doesn't make me, oh, I figure six, seven shares, that's a pretty awful big commitment for somebody like me that's uh, rather risk averse. Uh, I, I think what we're probably going to be looking at here is pro probably ten, twenty thousand dollars of profit here on this on this thing in in a month. And 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 if we're not there. I, I just, I, I'm going to, I'm going to blame my friend uh, and I'm going to blame that I two guy. Cause I tell you what, that guy, that guy, I, I hear he's, um, he's pretty aggressive on this, um, this story. He understands a lot more of what Hylion's talking about with this efficiently electric stuff, but uh, verdict is still out guys. I'll keep you updated whether or not I, I um, indulge in that six air position there. Um, and I'll be the first to share it through this YouTube deal.